welcome, get a few more minutes before we'll get started. And this morning's practice uh, will be a gentle yoga practice. And you uh, are going to want to have something prepared. Uh, if you have a strap, perfect. Uh, a belt will work. A towel will work. Even uh, maybe an extension cord, um, some piece of a robe, uh, a tie around from the waist, something that you can get about yay distance wide. So you've got this ready to go. And just have that set to the side. So uh, when we get going, you'll have that ready to go. Have a, about two or three minutes before we'll get officially started with our practice. Welcome to those of you who are on Zoom. Good morning, Christina. And welcome to those of you who are joining us on Facebook. We've got about two more minutes. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Om Bhuhanaktu Sahaviryam Karvaha Vahai Tejasim Vatitam Mastu Mavid Shavahai Om Shanti Shanti, Shanti, Om, Om, Sahana Vavantu, Sahana Om, Buhanaktu, Sahaviryam Kirvaha Vahai, Tejas. Viva Titam Mastu Ma Vid Vishavahai Om Shanti 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 Good morning. Welcome to those of you who are just joining us. I got about a little bit less than a minute to go before we'll get going on today's practice. Uh, today's practice is going to be a gentle flow. Uh, we'll do about 30 minutes. It will include a meditation. And um, it's really perfect for all levels. Um, we're going to stay mostly uh, close to the floor. We'll get up for a little bit. Uh, you will want something, a strap, a belt, a towel, something that um, you can go about this wide with so that when we get to our seated up portion, you've got your prop ready to go. <clears throat> Welcome. My name is Carrie Tice and this is Circusal Yoga Virtual Studio. Uh, we have launched a completely virtual studio as of right now since our uh, studio doors are currently closed. Uh, so we're doing at least three virtual classes a day um, and you can access those um, on our website at circusal.com forward slash virtual studio. We have classes every single day, and um, it's a two-week pass for $59. So if you love this class and want to get into more, uh, we've got that availability. We're going to start off laying down right onto your back. Lay back all the way. And as you lay back, stretch the legs out. Take the legs a little wider. Take the arms out wide. And just take a moment and allow the body to soften, to relax, to consciously give way. And feel the ground beneath you. Feel that groundedness, that connection with the earth. Allow the face to soften. Begin to deepen the breath. Drawing the breath in and out through the nose. Feeling the breath. Just take the next five breaths to breathe deeper, to become aware of the sensations of your breath. Face is soft, body is relaxed.
And two more breaths here. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Next inhalation, draw the right knee in toward the chest. Reach and grab a hold of the shin, of the knee, and draw the knee in closer. And give a little squeeze. Draw the awareness and the breath across the left hip. Deep breath in, breath down low in the belly. Exhale out. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. And now just start to stir the femur, taking it around side to side, keeping some nice little pressure here on the shin. And then just moving the femur inside of the socket. And then go ahead and reverse that in the opposite direction. Just stirring up. Deep breath in, long breath out. And then take the right foot over to the left side so that the leg is in external rotation. With the leg in external rotation, you can hold the knee and the foot. Or you can just hold the foot and then you start that same stir, just the leg in this kind of uh, pigeon shape, figure four moving, and this is called the stirrup flow. Moving a little deeper into the hip. If you're rocking side to side, that's totally fine. Just breathe, and then reverse that direction. Keep the leg in this external rotation. Deep breath in, long breath out, just stirring it up, moving it around. Take one more breath, inhale. And then exhale, take the right foot, sole the foot toward the ceiling, bend the knee for half baby pose. Left leg is long, and if the left leg being long is too much, you can bend the left knee and put the sole of the foot on the floor. Breathe, couple breaths in half baby pose, just opening up the side, the back side of the hip and the hamstrings. You can also hold on to the back side of calf here or even the backside of the hamstrings. If you can't hold on to the rest, just hold on where you can. Breathe, open up. Take the knee a little wider and take the knee a little closer to the floor. Couple more breaths. And then just rock that half baby a little side to side. Just massaging, opening up. And if the left leg is bent, go ahead and extend it out and take the right knee all the way over to the side. Take a supine twist. Right knee over to the left. If the knee is hovering, let it hover. Right arm anchors out to the side. Press the back of the hand into the earth. And then a couple sweet breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your awareness to the areas of the body where it might be challenging to breathe into right now because you're in the twist. And then breathe into those areas anyway. One more breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. And draw them back to center. And extend the right leg back out, back into Shavasana. Take a moment, allow the palms to rest, the legs to soften. And draw your awareness into the right leg. Feel the hip. Can you feel the difference in length between left and right? How about energetic? How about space in the hip? What can you feel? How is it different than the other side? And take one more breath, drawing the awareness into the right hip, into the right leg. 
Inhale. Left knee draws in. Draw the knee into the chest. Grab a hold of the knee, the shin. And you can grab onto the back side of the thigh. Give a little compression here, drawing right in, rib right in toward the chest. Soften your eyes and relax the face. The leg in this position, just start to give it a little stir. And that could be just kind of a little shifting side to side, scrubbing, or you can start that circular flow. Drawing in, giving yourself that nice sweet massage, just opening up, being sweet, being gentle, and then make it in the opposite direction. Feel the tissues starting to lubricate, starting to open up, starting to melt the fuzz from your night's sleep. And then take the left foot over to the right side that the, the leg is in external rotation. You can hold on to the foot and the ankle. You can hold on to the foot and the knee. And then start to stir. Stir up flow here. Open up. Circling in one direction. Circling and breathe. Feel that on the outside of the hip, to the IT band, into glute, and then circle in the opposite direction. Keep the breath steady, long and in and out through the nose. Last couple. Inhale. Left sole of the foot toward the ceiling. You can hold the back of the thigh, the calf, some piece of real estate, whatever you can get a hold of. If you um, really can't hold it, you can hold on to the strap here too. And hold on here. Nice little version. Breathe, inhale. And if having the knee extended out, you can always take the right foot to the floor. Keep breathing, opening up in that left side. Half baby pose. Breathe, drawing the knee a little further out, away from ribs, and taking the thigh a little closer to the earth, opening up hamstring, back of thigh, breathe into the back of the knee, opening up, softening, melting. One more breath, inhale deeply, and on the exhale, taking it into twist. Left knee draws back into the chest and over to the right side, all the way over. Let it release. And left arm anchors out to the side. Press the back of the hand into the earth. And then allow yourself to melt, to soften, to relax. One more breath, inhale, exhale. And slowly, slowly draw back to center. Extend both legs out. Take a moment in Shavasana. Feel your body perfectly at rest. Feel the body on the earth. Feel the openness, the flow in the legs. In the hip, the energy vibrating down into the toes. Draw your knees in. Give yourself a big squeeze. If you can wrap around the outside, wrap around. 
Draw your nose up towards your knees. Give yourself a little squeeze. Activation of the front of the belly. And one more breath here. Inhale. And on the exhale, take the arms to a cactus arms or, or to V and press the arms into the earth. Just a little twist side to side. Inhale here in center. Exhale, knees go toward the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, knees go toward the right. As little as much as feels good. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. One more on each side. Inhale, draw to center line. Exhale, twist left. Inhale. Exhale, twist right. Back to center. Inhale. And then roll over onto your side. Take a moment here in fetal pose. You can use the forearm as a pillow. Inhale deeply, exhale fully, slowly press up, oh, all the way up to seated. Any seat will do, simple cross-legged, whatever feels good this morning, best on the body. And then it's time to grab a hold of that, whatever you've got, strap, towel. If you're using a strap, go ahead and grab the buckle side of it and take into both hands. Take the lay arms really wide and then press the hands apart. Almost like you're trying to pull the strap and break it right in the middle. Take a couple breaths, pull apart, breathe into the front of the chest, into the shoulders. One more breath and exhale. Let that go for a moment. Just to open close with the hands. Try not to get too much of a grip. Grab back again. A hold of your strap and up and over the head. And start to roll the shoulders back just before they roll under. So not where you're gonna go all the way, get into that threshold point right before you go. And if it's too much, go a little wider. Just feel that point, not rolling through yet. Arms up above the head. And do that a couple more times, right to that edge, right before they would roll down and back up. Breathe across your chest. Breathe across the shoulders. Inhale back to center. This time, if you need to go a little wider to make this happen, go wider and then slowly set them go all the way. Coming down toward the back and then all the way up and over again. A couple more times just like this. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale, exhale, come back to center, release the strap, give your hands a break, open close with the palms, open close, release the arms out, shake them out, then interlace the grip, press the palms forward, as you press the palms forward, round the back like cat pose. Start to breathe, all right? Round the spine, draw the outside of the shoulders forward. Shoulder blades come around to the edges of the spine. And then inhale, stretch the arms up, palms toward the ceiling. Keep your interlace, open up, arch your spine. A couple more like that. Press your palms forward, round the spine like cat pose. Palms draw forward. Inhale, arch your spine. Open up, palms press to the ceiling. Exhale, release, press them forward. And open up. Next, exhale, release, take the hands down. Let the hands rest in the knees or on the lap for a breath. Allow your eyes to soften. Take two breaths in. Long breath out. Inhale. Exhale, grab your strap, 
towel, whatever you got. And this time, up and over, taking the arms over to the right side. Left palm presses toward the ceiling, right arm presses toward the floor. Again, that openness, pressing away from each other. Open through that left side body, and then back to center, inhale. Exhale, opposite side, pressure left, fingertips down to the floor. At the same time, the right arm extends toward the ceiling. Open up, side bend through that right body. Inhale, exhale, arms back up, and then start to press the right arm back and the left arm up. Right back, left up and forward. Press away from each other, breathe, and then back to center. Last one. Left arm starts to make its way back. Right palm presses forward and up. Left palm presses down and back. Breathe two breaths across the chest, across the shoulders. Now let that go. Shake it out. Take that, place it to the side. And then slowly start to make your way up. to the hands and the knees, a couple cat-cow, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more. Rise up onto the knees. Step your right foot forward. Take the hands to the thigh and tuck the back toe in the high lunge. If you need to shorten your stance, shorten your stance. You could have to hassle, have the back heel down, kind of more warrior one. Stretch the arms up. Cross your thumbs, pull the hands apart. Back leg strong, right shin lunges forward. Deep breath in, long breath out. Release the hands, take them to the low back, interlace the grip, pull the knuckles straight down toward the floor. From deep within the shoulder, pull the hands apart. Inhale, exhale. Slowly release the hands, take the hands back to the front thigh, release the back knee down to the floor, slowly and gently. Inhale, and exhale, draw back with the hips, step the right knee back, left foot forward. Take your time with this. Transition, get the toe tucked in the back. Taking the weight to the thigh to help you up. Rise up, Chandrasana, high lunge. Find your footing. You can put that back heel down for uh, more balance. Stretch the arms up, inhale. Cactus arms this time, open through the palms, open through the shoulders, elbows draw back. Breathe across the chest and shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Release the hands, reach behind the back, grab forearms or make a fist, and pull the hands apart with the, if you're grabbing the forearms. One more breath, inhale, exhale, release. Take your hands back to your thigh. Back knee slowly, slowly back to the floor. Back to the knees. And then back into the hands back. Tabletop. Inhale. Exhale, couple more. Inhale, exhale. Come into cat pose. Round the spine, hip points lift toward the chest, the pelvic bowl spills back. Keep the hips just like they are. Just neutral out the spine. Hips stay like they are. Right foot back, ball the foot on the floor. Press to the heel. Long neck, look down and let the crown look forward. Deep breath in, press into palms, finger pads, knuckles. Inhale, right leg lifts. You can stay here if this is enough. Right toes facing down to the floor or extend the left fingertips forward for a little tiger pose. Inhale, find your balance, find your steadiness. One more breath, exhale, release. Right knee down, 
left palm down. Take your left foot back. Ball the foot on the floor. Press to the heel, tiger prep. Nice stretch on the back of the calf into Achilles. Ground into the palms. One more breath. Then inhale, left leg lifts. Stay here or take this further by extending the right fingertips forward. Draw your belly in. Ribs, floating ribs are all the way in. Inhale, exhale, release, cat cow. Move your flow. Walk your hips back to your heels, take a seat. This doesn't work for you, you can sit any other way. And then just take a couple of breaths, extending the spine, allow your eyes to soften and close. Sit up tall. And the option of staying here seated or go ahead and lay down. Either way, it's going to be just what you need. Take that moment to shift. Find a seat that's comfortable. And allow the eyes to soften. Allow the eyes to close. Begin to take the mind's eye. Visualizing beautiful tropical paradise. As far around as you can see, in all directions, behind you, above you, in front of you, and to each sides of you, is this lush tropical forest. Green, a vibrancy, the same color as spring. You can feel the energy coming off of all the living things, all the plants, all the vines, all the gigantic trees. And you just take a few moments and see what you see. A sea of green in all directions, surrounding you, enveloping you. And this vibrant green energy The energy of love, the energy of the fourth, fourth chakra. And take a couple more breaths here, just taking inhale deep and exhales long. Upon further observation, you notice something sparkly shining like gold. So you begin to walk near and you realize it's a staircase covered in gold. Beautiful, like a temple, ornate, like something you've never seen before. Encrusted in the steps are jewels, rubies, diamonds, sapphires. Kyanite, some gems that you've never seen before. So you begin to climb the steps. Each step that you take, you feel more at home. Every step at peace. Starting to feel natural graceful, a lightness in the step, a lightness in the whole body, this lightness transferring into the mind, and feeling lightness all over the body. At the same time you feel light, you also feel very secure. So you climb the rest of the steps all the way up all the way to the top. And as you come to the top, you see radiating this beautiful, gigantic gem. 
is the color green. Vibrant, shining from within. It has an inner radiance, somewhat like the sun. So you come near and take a seat. As you sit, you feel an overpouring emotional reaction, the whole body vibrating with love, unconditional love. You feel love for the whole body, every system, every bone, every single part of you, every cell you can feel love. Love for the surroundings. This love pouring out from within you. And you just be. You just are. And take the next few breaths to be here. To be in the love. And feeling your entirety saturated with this love, like a sponge dripping wet, decide it's time to go back and take this love out into the world. Draw the hands to heart center. And bow the head to the heart. We bow the head to the heart in yoga in remembrance. It's a daily reminder to each of us of what we came here to do. Because you are more than meets the eye, more than the reflection you see in the mirror, more than the beating muscle you feel deep in the chest. And you are far more than the fluctuations of your own mind and emotions. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today, sharing that love. Thank you, thank you, and namaste. If you've got some more time to lay down and take a longer Shavasana, I'd highly recommend that. Maybe some more time in meditation. My name is Carrie Tice, and this is Circus Soul Yoga Virtual Studio. Uh, our studio doors are temporarily closed, uh, but we have opened our doors wide open online. Uh, we have a virtual streaming service that is available all over the world. So. Uh, if you love this, please share this with a loved one. Um, this is a practice that is, is super accessible. And this might be the time um, that somebody needs yoga the most. It might be this time where they've never done yoga before. And it's that time where somebody shares with them like somebody shared with you when you were in need. So get out there, share this love. And I thank you so much for joining me for this practice. If you enjoyed today's practice and you'd like to subscribe, uh, you can go to circussoul.com forward slash virtual studio. All the details are there. It's $59 for two weeks, and it's a great investment uh, in yourself, but even bigger into the studio. So when we reopen, uh, we will give you two weeks of classes at the studio as well as your virtual classes. So 